What's up, Sneaky Nation? Sneaky P here, back with week number eight of our Los Angeles Crusaders franchise. Today, the Crusaders are getting ready to try and extract some revenge on the New England Patriots. The Patriots are the team that knocked us out of the playoffs last year, so this is a very personal game for us. We are coming into this game undefeated. We're looking pretty good, but the Patriots have Tom Brady. Uh, they are not quite as good as they were last year, maybe. Uh, they have two losses already. They finished the last regular season undefeated, and then they lost in the AFC Championship game. But they are obviously still a threat. Any team with Tom Brady, you always have to keep an eye out on. So let's go ahead and see what weapons they have around Brady and what could potentially be his last year. As you see, 95 overall, still getting it done at age 39. Uh, and they brought in Blaine Gabbard as a backup. Shane Vereen and Tamarcus Easton McLean at wide receiver. Dobson, Floyd, Boyce, and Brown. Not a great wide receiving core. And part of that is Anquan Bolden. Their huge free agent pickup is actually injured. And that is a huge blow to the Patriots offense. As you can see, they only have four active wide receivers. Granted, they have Gronk and Fred Davis as well. Two other weapons that they can work with. Um, but defensively, they're missing a lot of power along their defensive line. Their linebackers are great. That is something they can hang their hat on. They have a good cornerback crew. But not being able to get pressure on the corner, uh, quarterback might be hurting them a little bit. And like I said, you could uh, check out their defensive line. Really nothing to write home about. So that might be part of the reason they're not doing quite as good as they were last season. But again, they are obviously still a threat. Let's go ahead and kick things off here. This one is going to Chase Cross in the end zone. And he is going to take this out past the 10, past the 15, up to about the 21-yard line. And that is where Derek Carr and the Crusaders will take over. A first play of the game, a handoff to Devron Golden. That's good for eight, second and two. Golden has the first down. On the next play up to the 34-yard line, Derek Carr in the pocket this time. Time to work with. He will connect with Denarius Moore to the 45. Another handoff to Golden here. He runs it right up the middle, gains about seven. Second and three on the left side. Denarius Moore, his second catch of the game, goes for about 10 yards. First and 10. This one's going to get batted down. Second and 10 now. Derek Carr going to find Denarius Moore. And they have a connection going in this game early on. Three passes already. And now Emmanuel Graves is going to have a first down grab. First and 10 is the Crusaders are Marching down the field pretty well here as Marcel Reese gets involved. He gains four on the catch. Second and six now. Golden running his way for a Crusader. First down. First and ten. Derek Carr. Pressure is coming. He will get the ball off. Graves again. Another nice catch by him down to the seven. That went for eight. Second and two to the end zone. And Reese is out of bounds there. This is going to be a huge third down play for the Crusaders on the left side. Keiston Mack into the end zone. Touchdown. The Crusaders are going to jump out to a 7-0 lead here. And Keiston Mack finding his way into the end zone once again. The rookie out of Michigan State has been absolutely phenomenal. But Tom Brady and the Patriots are on the field now. And he connects with Shane Vereen on the first play of the game for a first down. Now down the left side of the field to the 43-yard line. Brady, I said first down after the Shane Vereen play. I was mistaken. The second one was handoff to Vereen this time. He runs it up the middle, gain of three. Third and seven now. Brady in the pocket. Pressure is coming. He has to throw this one away. And that is not a good first possession for the New England Patriots there. The Crusaders are going to take back over the ball and try to put some more points up on the board after an eight-yard run from Devon Golden. This time he overthrows Golden by a good amount there. Third and two, Golden trying to get that first down, and he does. First and ten, Derek Carr in the pocket, and he will find Denarius Moore once again. This one goes for about six, second and four. Derek Carr on the right side overthrows his target again. Third and four now, Derek Carr on the left. Denarius Moore once again. He has ha had a ton of catches here in the first quarter. I believe that is six for him as Golden runs it on the left side for a nine-yard gain. Then picking up the first down on the right side, still going all the way up to the 49-yard line. That was an eight-yard carry there. First and ten across the field to Keiston Mack. That's going to get batted down. Second and ten now. Derek Carr on the right side finds Marcel Reese, who powers his way to that first down to the 37-yard line. A 12-yard reception there. First and ten. Denarius Moore again. Again, down to the 30-yard line, an 8-yard gain there. Second and two, Derek Carr. Pressure is coming, and he is going down. Luckily, he gets the ball off first. It is third and two, and Devon Golden will pick up the first down to the red zone for the Crusaders, trying to extend the lead against the Patriots here. First and 10, Denarius Moore, another catch. That is a 5-yard gain there. Second and five on the right side, Devon Golden is going to gain one. Third and four now. 
And this one is going to get batted down. So the Crusaders are going to have to settle for a field goal. Oscar Samuels will knock it through the upright. And it is a 10-0 lead here in New England to hand off to Shane Vereen for the first play of the drive. That goes for 8, 2nd and 2 on the right side. Not good enough for a first down. Jimmy Mosley on the stop. But the next play, they will run it right up the middle. Shane Vereen will have the first down. First and 10, Brady. Pressure's coming. He will get the ball off. That is batted down. And could have been intercepted there. Second and 10. Pressure's coming on Brady again. Throwing it down the field. And Prince of Mucamera does make the interception. After knocking it down last time, he makes the play this time. And all of a sudden, the Crusaders have great field position once again, starting at the Patriots' 39-yard line, trying to extend the lead against the team that just knocked them out of the playoffs a year ago. But Derek Carr is going down. That is Collins on the sack. It is going to be second and 22 after a 12-yard loss there. And over the middle, this one's going to get batted down. Third and 22 here for the Crusaders down the right side of the field. And this is going to be called an interception here. And we are not able to challenge this. But I am pretty certain that Browner was out of bounds on the play. And again, they're not going to let us challenge it. So just as good as a punt anyway, I suppose. But the Patriots will take over as Justin Tuck gets a sack on Brady. That was Browner on the interception there. Third and 14 now as that one was completed out of bounds. Shane Vereen nowhere to go this time. The Crusaders will take back over the ball on the 31 yard line. Golden runs it right up the right side for a gain of three. Second and seven. Golden up the middle has a first down and a few more to the 43 yard line. A nine yard run there. First and 10. Derek Carr going down the field and Keiston Mack the huge play all the way to the 14 yard line of Patriot territory and he has been a monster all season long. First and 10. Derek Carr going to the end zone this time and this is going to be intercepted by Abdullah this was actually one of those instances where I just hit the wrong button I meant to hit something else I panicked because I thought pressure was coming and I hit the wrong button so it sucks but that is the second interception of the game the Patriots will take back over the ball as Reynard Ray with the stop there after an eight yard reception a little play action Brady barely gets the ball away to his fullback McLean and he's going to go up the left side, a gain of 8 yards there. First and 10, Shane Vereen on the left side, taken down by C.O. Moore. Second and 6, nowhere to go this time. It is going to be a third and 7 play for Tom Brady and the Patriots. And Boyce with a great catch on the right side. Jimmy Mosley with a tackle. First and 10 for the Patriots on the 47 here, trying to get the ball into Crusader territory. And wide open is Fred Davis all the way down to the 12-yard line. A huge play by the Patriots here. Now Shane Vereen on the right side, finding his way down on the one great play by Shane Vereen there now to Marcus Easton the second year player can knock it into the end zone second and goal Brady pressure is coming he is going down that is a sack for the Crusaders third and goal now Brady trying to get into the end zone here and Boyce an incredible catch holding on to that ball will get the touchdown for the Patriots making it seven to ten with a minute 37 to go here in the second quarter so uh, Derek Carr and the Crusaders going to try to make something happen before halftime. Is Keiston Mack with a nice catch there. First and 10. Derek Carr over the middle. Finds Shakir Gaten into Patriot territory at the 47-yard line. First and 10 play action. Derek Carr down the field again. Denarius Moore has the grab to the 26. They are in field goal range now. All they have to do is not turn the ball over, and they will at least get some kind of points most likely. However, they're going to rule out a fumble. I thought it was a forward pass. Uh, but luckily we do recover that one's going to get batted down so 34 or a field goal from the 34 yard line I'm sorry and this is no good a 51 yard field goal just shy of going through those uprights I thought for sure he was going to have that and now all of a sudden the Patriots and Gronkowski moving down the field they have under a half a minute to go here but Brady is going down they will still call a timeout 20 seconds to go 47 yard line a little screenplay to Vereen here this is going to be third and a few yards third and six for Tom Brady 11 seconds to go pressure's coming he is going down and that will take us into halftime the score is 10 to 7 the Crusaders with the lead despite a few turnovers there and I'll see you in the second half back in the second half now we have a 10 to 7 score and Brady and the Patriots will start off with the ball as he connects with Gronkowski on the left side for a five yard gain second and five Vereen up the left side for two third and three now Brady rolling back out into the pocket and Justin Smith is coming up behind him he is going to throw an incomplete pass there and the Crusaders will take over Devon Golden a six yard run there second and four and a huge overthrow by Denarius or by Derek Carr to Denarius Moore there could have been a big first down play 
Uh, instead, the Patriots are going to get the ball back. Now Brady on the left side throws it into traffic there. Second and 10, Brady will connect with Floyd this time up to the 26-yard line. That is good for a first down. Marine running up the middle for a one-yard loss. Second and 11. Patriots on the left side, and that is Vereen taken out of bounds by the former Patriot, Brandon Spikes. Third and nine now for Brady, and he's going to run up to the pass this time. And a huge connection, Jimmy Mosley on the tackle there, but that is good for a first down up to the 48-yard line in Crusader territory. Brady breaking one tackle, and he is going down on the second. Second and ten now, pressure's coming on Brady again. He will connect. But he will fall out of bounds. Third and 10 now for the Patriots after two weird plays. And Shane Vereen will break a tackle this time. He is going down by Brandon Spikes on the next one. The Crusaders taking back over the ball here. And another, another overthrow by Derek Carr. We have seen a few of these today. That one's going to get batted down. Third and 10, Derek Carr in the pocket. And he will finally connect with Marcel Reese this time all the way to the 38-yard line. A 24-yard reception there. First and 10 on the left side. Shakir Gaten with the grab fighting for those extra yards. Just shy of that first down marker but Golden will pick it up on the next play down to the 45 yard line of Patriot territory Golden on the left side this time going to gain about three second and seven pressures coming on Carr he breaks the sack a huge play by Derek Carr we have not seen him do that many times and he will connect with Marcel Reese Emmanuel Graves will run for the first down on the next play a gain of nine there a little play action pressures coming Carr will not break this sack and it is second and 22 Golden on the right side trying to get the Crusaders in field goal range here a shorter field third and 14 after the 8 yard run and a screenplay does not work. 4th and 14 Samuels will knock it through the uprights this time and that will give the Crusaders a 13 to 7 lead so one touchdown by the Patriots and they will have the lead and that is what Brady and Vereen are trying to do here but Vereen gets taken down by Khalil Mack 2nd and 10. Brady connects with Dobson this time a nine-yard reception. Vereen on the right side, not going to get that first down mark. That was Reynard Ray on the tackle. This time, Golden in the Crusaders as they take back over a five-yard run there. Derek Carr going down once again. That is Collins, his second sack of the game. And this one to Keiston Mack is incomplete. So the Patriots taking back over here in the fourth quarter. And Boyce has a nice reception up to the 49-yard line. First and 10. Pressure's coming. Brady will break one sack. He will not break the second. That is Femi Francois subbing into the game. Both Brandon Spikes and Shelby Harris have been hurt. And Femi Francois subbing into the game. Two back-to-back -back sacks there. Third and 22 now. And pressure is coming once again on Tom Brady. This is Sharif Floyd fourth and 30 they're gonna have to punt the ball away and that is where the crusaders will take over devon golden fighting his way up for that first down marker to the 45 first and 10 this one's gonna get batted down second and 10 Derek carr trying to find a receiver that is batted down through that one into traffic there third and 10 on the right side three bad passes by Derek carr there all of them going right into traffic and Tom Brady and the Patriots will take back over, trying to capture this lead. A nice completion there, first and 10. That was up to the 37-yard line. Pressure is coming on Brady, and he is going down. That is LeJean Knight, the quarterback, has three sacks today. And now Gronkowski, a huge play. The 40, the 30. Ofisa Okafor is the only one who can catch him, and he does. Ofisa Okafor saving the touchdown play, catching Gronkowski from behind. First and 10 from the 10-yard line here. And that is a two-yard gain, second and eight now. Amuka Mare is going to get a tackle. Third and five. This is a big play. And another sack from Femi Francois doing an incredible job subbing in today. They are going to have to settle for a field goal, making it a three-point game, 13 to 10. But that is all on Ofisa Okafor saving that touchdown and preventing Gronkowski from getting in. He saved us four points on the play and preserved our lead as Keiston Mack cannot hold on to that pass. Third and five now. Derek Carr on the left side. Denarius Moore cannot hold on. So the Patriots have the ball back under six minutes to go. This is Floyd with the ta uh, catch. Second and eight now. Brady on the right side finds Gronkowski again. And Okafor, his least favorite player right now. Dex and Shane Vereen runs for that clutch first down. Under four minutes to go now. First and ten on the left side. Another little screen play here. And that is good for about five yards. Second and five. Three minutes to go. Boyce cannot hold on to the ball. Third and five now for Brady. He needs to make something happen here. He finds Tamarcus Easton. And he is taken out of bounds by Amuka Mera. And in a weird call, they decided to punt the ball. They must trust their defense a lot. All they have to do, the Crusaders have to do, is run this clock out. And that is what they are trying to do here. Very odd call from the Patriots to punt the ball and not go for it on fourth down. Get a few yards, get in the field goal 
range. Instead, their defense needs to make a play. A huge third and one, and Golden picks up the first down. The Patriots' one timeout left is not going to cut it. And a horrible call from the Patriots. I, I might have said Belichick at some point, but obviously they have Chad Masters. Um, very, very weird call from the Patriots, though. The Crusaders are indeed going to kneel the ball out. We're not going to run up the score on them, even though they likely would have done it with us. Um, and the Crusaders, very, very fortunate to escape with a 13-10 victory over the Patriots here. Getting revenge on the team that knocked us out of the playoffs last year. A big, big win for the Crusaders. And Brady cannot believe it. I don't know why they punted that ball. So very weird. Our defense stepped up big time. This was definitely a defensive battle. As uh, only 10 points scored from the Patriots, we only scored 13 uh, had a few turnovers. We got a lot of sacks. That, that definitely helped us out a lot. And we will look into those sliders again. I know people have been asking. So I will try to increase those sliders and see if we can fix it. I've tried before. It didn't work. But we'll give it another shot because I don't want to be getting sacks all the time. Um, usually I edit that out. Anyway, 58.7 quarterback rating for Derek Carr. 23 of 45. 272 yards. Really not a good game from him. He did have a touchdown pass. Two interceptions. The second one, I just hit the wrong button. And the first one, Browner was out of bounds. Like, I watched it. He was out of bounds. I don't know. But a big game from Devon Golden. 23 carries, 159 yards. The Patriots had no answer for him. And that is the reason we won the game. Denarius Moore, 8 catches, 78 yards. I feel like a lot of those were in the first half. Keaston Mack, 5 catches, 90 yards. And a touchdown. Uh, Marcel Reese getting involved, 4 catches, 47 yards. Um, and then we had a big play from Shakir Gayton as well in the game. Defensively, again, Reynard Ray subbing over to that main spot once Brandon Spikes went down. And he had a big game leading the team in tackles. Femi Francois subbing in for Shelby Harris. Had three sacks in the fourth quarter alone. LeJean Knight, the cornerback, getting three sacks as well. Uh, great play from him. I might have said he was a rookie earlier in the game too. It's his second year. I feel like I said he was a rookie. But I know. I don't know why I said that. Uh, but thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button. It helps me out a lot, and I'll see you next time. Later.